TG. We all know about Eldridge abominations, both the evil and an ambivalent kind. But what about the good kind? What if there was a world where there was no evil or neutral abominations, just good? It's a world where people still try and stop the resurrection and slash or awakening. No one wants to have a 40-headed monstrosity covered in mouths and baby limbs perched on the highest point in the city, screeching at everybody in every possible language to not smoke and drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's so loud you want to look at it, but if you even glance at it from the corner of your eye, it gives you a headache. A world where you could be minding your own business when suddenly a blue blob bubbles out of your kitchen sink. It drives you insane while in its presence, and when it leaves, you find out that it redecorated and cleaned your house for you, misplacing everything, while leaving your bedroom with reverse gravity for some reason, and there's a plant with eyes on the dining room table. <laughs> the eye plant is on a plate, so you're not sure if it's a gift of food or decoration. A world where you're lectured by nightmare beasts for accidental littering. A world you fear being bad just a little. It's a world of horror. <laughs> I love this idea. I love this concept. Although I can't honestly say, is it is it a good one? Like you know, it's still messing with you. I suppose it's more of a tricksy sort of. It would put me down as more of a um, more like a fairy, like or a something. fairy. Yeah, yeah. not directly like evil. Yeah, not where actually. pixies are little cunts. <laughs> yeah, it's more like the wee dickheads, be it, like, yeah. than anything. Like lifting your keys and running away with them. Yeah, just just mild annoyances more yeah. than anything. The horrid thing slid towards me on its innumerable limbs. Squelching and gibbering, it turned its eye stalks to stare at my face. In the back of my mind, a voice older than time asked one terrifying question. Why haven't you called your mother this week? <laughs> you know she wants to hear from you. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is perfect. This is actually... Like, I, I love this. It needs to be a thing. Yes. One day you look in the mirror and cough. A million yawning mouths slither from your mouth and nose and eyes in your reflection, subsuming it all into one writhing mass. What used to be your form, twisted and pressed into sanity rendering shapes, says, don't forget to floss. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Oh, oh this they, is so good. They remind me more like gnomes, like helper gnomes almost. Yeah. In like a weird sense. You get, you get what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I despaired as the chanting of the cultists reached its crescendo. I had sought to prevent the summoning and failed. Tied to a nearby tree, I could only watch in horror as a rift opened in the fabric of space above the stone circle they had raised in the midst of this primeval forest. Through the breach in our reality, I witnessed the mad swirling of ultimate chaos. I saw shapes unidentifiable by Euclidean geometry. Strange, indescribable radiations illuminated the scene. A vast amorphous form forced itself into our reality. I laughed and howled with madness as the utmost abomination was made manifest before me. I felt reality itself curdle around me and knew our world would never be the same. My next memory is awakening in the woods. My bonds had been cut and my blanket draped over me. With a sore throat and stiff limbs, I slowly made my way back to my car. As I drove back to the city, the frantic yammering of the radio informed as to what had been unleashed upon our world. AIDS, at long last, had been cured. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality. Honest to God, like, what, what would, like, you know what this reminds me of? This kind of gives me, like, Shea Goroth vibes. Shea Goroth, like, you know, from the, like, you know, from Elder Scrolls, I think, like, Deedly Prince of Madness. This is what he's given me. Yeah. Like, he's not directly evil by any means, I don't think. But he's definitely up to no good and will... It's like... I don't know. I don't know. This is a really hard one to solve. It's chaotic good yeah. in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. But it's like... But then again, it, the it's still forcing its will. Yeah. And it's still making you mad and stuff. Yeah. So is it still... I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's a really hard one to quantify. I think by very definition, though, um, Eldritch Abominations just cannot be good. Yeah. I just, there's something in them. I just can't imagine them to be good creatures. The strange statue perched on my desk had become my obsession. This sounds like the beginning of um, Edgar Allan Poe, the real. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. My research had shown it was a matrimonial figure from an ancient civilization. I wanted to dispose of it, but some strange compulsion prevented me from doing so. I felt somehow enslaved to it, as if it watched me, rather than I watching it. 
a horrid thing of tendrils and polyps it was unpleasant to look upon. But every time I glimpsed at it, I wanted to call my wife and tell her I loved her. Oh, that's very <laughs> sweet. Uh, no, if you looked at something with tendrils and polyps all over it and you were like, oh, I, I should really read Megan. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, is, like what type of, like, I suppose it does, it is using mind control though to a certain yeah. extent. Which I think mind control is again evil. Yeah, it is. I, I don't is. think you, I don't think you can have. I don't it. think there's a, there's a good, good form, form of mind control because you're invading someone else's being. Yeah, I I just find it hard for your yeah. own personal gain. Yeah, so even if they are con- committing good acts, good by acts, doing, it's still it's still in a, my sense it's still a, a on violation. The spectrum. It is violation. Yeah, it's mind rape. Yeah, mind rape definition. Taking a baby for a stroll down to a park, she keeps crying. Suddenly, shadows start moving on their own, rise from the ground and take on a humanoid appearance covered in eyes. Suddenly, all eyes start going crazy, and the thing before me speaks. <laughs> Baby starts laughing while I car under a bench trying to rip off my skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, all, that for some reason it's giving me flashbacks of uh, Brain Dead. You know, the park scene. With the baby? Yeah, yes. the baby. I don't know why, it's just giving me that. Hey guys, we just want to take a second to say thank you to all you guys that come back and enjoy our videos with us. It really does mean a lot and lets us do what we do. As you guys know, doing what we do is always an uphill battle on YouTube. As YouTube would like to throw the parts of the internet we enjoy under the bus. You guys know all about the YouTube algorithm at this point and the best way to help us do what we do is by clicking subscribe and clicking the notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all new videos as well as sharing videos of ours with friends you think would also enjoy what we do here. Also, don't forget to check out our social media links below. We love doing what we do, and it's all thanks to you guys. And for that, we thank you so, so, so much. Now, let's get back to the video. It would be a risky gamble. All I had to do was undercut my competitors and make a few shady investments. It meant that some men would lose their jobs, maybe their careers. Good, honest men. Nothing illegal about it. It's just strictly business. All I had to do was press enter on the keyboard and I'd be rich. But something is stopping me. It's in the corner watching me. It looks like something you'd get if you cross an armadillo and a flamingo, complete with an upside down dog head and spray painted puke yellow. It's not doing anything but watching with those expressionless eyes. I know what it is. I know what it's thinking. And it won't do anything. If I just press this button, I can't. I can't stop crying. Oh God, I hate myself. That thing sounds adorable. With an upside down dog head? Yes, I really? want it. Okay. <laughs> I really like the idea. I'm sorry, I just want it. Okay. <laughs> My daughter found it somewhere one day. She doesn't remember where, but she hugged it close, refusing to let it be taken away. It appeared to be a teddy bear, but its eyes seemed alive. Too alive. She called it Mr. Ertsonagok. <laughs> it's Sonagok. I can hear it speaking to her late at night, after I put her to bed. And he huffed and he puffed. And then his heart grew three sizes. The web there were words. Some pig. The voice had a gentle cadence that frightened me. One late night as I'm watching television, I nearly jump out of my skin as I notice him climbing up on the couch next to me. It sits up to face the television and places its paw on my hand. Its head spins around three times before splitting into a quad-jawed mouth. And then it speaks. You should spend more time with your daughter. She'd rather you read the bedtime story. Is this like a creepy pasta of a Furby? I don't know. It's a oh, fucking fuck it. it's creepy pasta of a Furby. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrible, yes. horrible creepy pasta of a Furby. That's or like exa- possessed fucking Elmo. Yeah. I can feel it moving inside me. I see it contorting, bulging beneath my flesh. Oh God, it hurts. Oh God, help me. <laughs> it's spilling out of me, out of every orifice. I fall to the floor, coughing and gagging, sobbing like a frightened child. It coalesces in a pool on the floor. A, a, a face! A face in the pool! I clasp the side of my head. Oh Christ, make it stop! It's speaking to me. Speaking! Ah ha 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 ha! go easy on the face! The fucking right mess in here! <laughs> <laughs> oh Anyone my god. got a shiggy, mate? <laughs> Anyone got a shiggy? Honestly, that one feels like it's directed towards me. <laughs> this is horrible. Late to work, run to car, open door. Maggots start spilling out. Don't stop. Body in front seat. No head. Horrific maggot face starts coalescing out of neck stuff. Run the fuck back inside. Hide. Can hear something wet on the door. Hours later, 
when I can move without vomiting all over myself. I leave by the back and walk to the front. Delicate tracery of rainbow-hued slime on door and parts of door frame. No gas. Fill tank for you. <laughs> that's horrible oh, I don't know if these are like okay no. I suppose it's kind of nice no, but like no, no please leave me be leave me be I'd be happier by myself it was Christmas Eve and I was nine years old I snuck out of bed late at night to catch a glimpse of Santa Claus I left milk and cookies out for him I got the bright idea to bring my butterfly net thinking I would catch Santa with it I hid behind my dad's recliner while watching the fireplace it was 17 minutes after midnight when I heard the gentle thumps on the roof. I got goosebumps and I wait for what seems like forever. Then I hear it. He's coming down the chimney. Oh boy. I see him. It's Santa. He's crawling out of my fireplace. But something's off. His face is too pale. His face is expressionless. And he moves so awkwardly. He spies my milk and cookies and heads on over to it. Well, it's now or never. He's not exactly what I expected, but I might as well. I emerge from behind the recliner and start approaching as if I'm going to slam the net over his head, but he turns. I stop and he's looking at me. We stay like this for what seems like forever. Then he sees my net and starts ho-ho-hoing. It's awful and echoing, not a hint of joy at all. Then he opens his mouth wide and the skin of Santa falls to the floor and a giant praying mantis pulls itself out of him. It somehow keeps the hat on. Everyone gives me milks and cookies, but never gets his insects nets. <laughs> what? This is horrible. I prefers bugs. Thank ye, smalls childs. <laughs> the mantis gently takes the net away from me and gives me a present in exchange. I can hear something crawling around inside. After that, Santa left. Inside the present was a small hoodie made of flesh and insects. It's strangely comfortable and keeps me warm in any weather. I strongly believe in Santa Claus, but I'm no longer staying up for him. That is absolutely terrifying. terrifying. Absolutely I'm sorry, terrifying. that is actually just that's nightmare fuel in my opinion. No, I, thank you, no Santa. No, thank you, Santa. Definitely not. Keep I, your fucking presents, because <laughs> I don't want none of it. You're browsing late at night on the internet. It's Friday night, and you elected to stay home. Clicking happily on your favourite site, you feel a presence in your room. Suddenly, a cold, wet, rubbery hand clasps on your shoulder, instantly soaking through your shirt and chilling you to the bone. You're too afraid to turn and see what it is. It whispers in your ear. You shouldn't stay up so late, especially browsing 4chan. Lots of bad people are there. You should get to bed, and if you insist on staying up late, at least read a nice intelligent book. Then you feel the presence pull away, with its hand lingering on your shoulder before slowly sliding off. <laughs> that scares me. I know. <laughs> no. Again, another one. Stop directing your posts at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel t- I feel genuinely like, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Racing home in the dead of night, heart pounding in your throat, you dare not to look back at what chases you. The memory of its twisting, awful form, still fresh and frightening in your mind. You meet at your door, gasping for breath. Reaching into your pocket, you feel your heart sink to the pit of your stomach. You don't have your keys. You claw madly at your door, fingers bleeding, desperate for a haven from what comes. You feel the creature draw closer, its vile aura chilling your spine. Slowly, you turn to face your brochure. Its flickering, half-real form slowly, calmly moves towards you, dragged along by a million shadowy tendrils. Its warped flesh is slawing off, leaving chunks along its path like some decaying slug's trail. It comes right up to you and pierces you with the gaze from its eyeless, insect-like face. A thin, skeletal limb reaches out towards you. Tears well up in your eyes as a mad panic washes over you. Its many mandibles start chittering, producing a sound simultaneously quieter than a whisper and louder than a screech. The sound claws at the edge of your sanity, threatening to fracture your mind. You crumble before the awful being, overwhelmed by unearthly fear and terrible awe. Your mind manages to pull these few words from the ear-splitting noise. Here, you dropped your keys. <laughs> keep them! <laughs> keep them I'm all this night! Just yeah. fucking keep them! Keep them. No thanks. <laughs> no thank you. I'm always followed by something dressed like a man when I walk home from work. It only appears late at night, when the bad side of the city starts to show itself. It wears a trench coat and wide-brimmed hat to hide its features, but anyone looking at it can tell it stands on three legs. 
It always keeps its distance and disappears shortly before I get to my apartment. One day I notice the thing getting closer and closer. Already unnerved enough by this thing, I panic and start running blindly. I turn into alleys and side roads, running at full speed until I tripped. I'm freaking out and start looking around and see I'm surrounded by a bunch of teens and young people. I stand and I beg for help, but they laugh and they start to knock me around. Fearing for my life, I once again take flight. The gang follows me until I'm cornered in a dead end. The gang is closing in on me, laughing, when all of a sudden, my familiar stalker steps out from a darkened doorway. It turns to my attackers, pulls the trench coat open like a beach flasher and quickly closes it again. It was brief, but it lit up the youths and the alley with flashing lights and strange colours. Some of the kids fall to the ground, clawing at their eyes while the rest run screaming as loud as they possibly can. Only one of them did anything different, and it was one of the younger teens. He just stood there, crying, building up to a sob fast while cradling his face in his hands. He just kept on saying sorry over and over again. My stalker turned to me with his face hidden in the darkness, and then shambles into the shadow of a dumpster disappearing. Ooh. Fuck that. <laughs> I know, show honestly. I, I, what, what was he flashing them with? That's what I want to know. I know. Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> 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 yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, I think we're going to end it here, sweetheart. I love this thread. There's so much more of it. I want to carry this on in the comments, though. If like if you, you have like a wee story to put together of along the similar lines of what these guys yeah, are doing. Put them together. Um, I would love to do a video on oh, them. I'd love to do uh, a video of your guys. Yeah, definitely um, put them together. I think they'd be really cool. I, I love the concept and I love the idea. Yeah. And honestly, it just makes me... I, I've never got to play Cold Cthulhu. And I really, really, really want to play Call of Cthulhu. So, you know. Hint, hint. Is hint. anybody playing a fucking EU game? <laughs> yeah, is there, is, there any, is there any decent EU games that like at a decent day, at a decent time, that's like semi-legal, or at least yeah. once a week, maybe once a fortnight? Just out there, you know. If you throwing this out there. Just throwing it out there. If anyone's playing Call of Cthulhu, I would definitely be up for joining you guys. <laughs> It's hard enough to but fucking yeah, write find a down, game. Write down your own like little stories down below. And if we get enough of them, we'll do a video of them. Because yeah. I really want to read them. I'm definitely going to be going back to this thread anyway. I yeah. want to do this thread again. I thought it was so much fun. Yeah. But uh, like that's where we're going to end it. So we are. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like and subscribe. Check out the models. All that type of stuff. It does help us out links, big time. Everything, yeah, it really helps us out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.